In this video, we'll show you how to use yarn as a stitch holder. We're using Hayfield Bonus DK and you'll use the yarn in your pattern. You're also going to want a darning needle, a pair of scissors and a little bit of sewing thread. We want to thread up our needle with our yarn. So we're going to take our little piece of thread. We're going to fold that in half to create a loop. And this means this can easily go through the eye of our needle. Hold it nice and firm. The eye of our needle creating a larger loop. So we're ready to put our yarn through and pull that through. You want to make sure that you don't put a knot at the end and we leave our piece loose. I'm going to use this as a stitch holder and how we're going to do this is I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to go through a series of my stitches and you'll want to follow your pattern to see how many stitches you move onto the yarn holder. So I'm going to go through the stitch along the needle, catching the whole stitch And you can pull through, working through my stitches, through the stitches, to how many stitches you need to remove from your needle. It then means I can take that amount of stitches off my needle without fear of losing my stitches and dropping. This is how we can use yarn as a stitch holder. I can then take my needle out. Now if we want to put these back on our needle I always find it easiest to hold my needle in my right hand as I'm right-handed and now I'm going to try and not twist my stitches and go with my thread that I'm using as a stitch holder and place them back on the needle, making sure I'm going through the whole stitch working my way across going through the whole stitch till they're all back on my needle. This now means we've put our stitches back on our needle and we can remove our yarn stitch holder. And that's how you use a yarn stitch holder. Practice until you're confident and then head to serdar.com for more stitches, beginner kits, patterns and yarn.